Hello, and welcome to this brief tutorial on how to use Ovid Medline for comprehensive literature searching. Learning outcomes are learn how to locate and use subject headings in your search, learn how to use keywords in your search, including truncation and Boolean operators, and also learn how to apply limits to your search. Before beginning your search in Medline or any other database, the first step is to define your research question. For my demonstration, I will use the following. Can probiotics help treat depression? Once I have a research question, I will then identify my key concepts. My key concepts are probiotics and depression treatment. Ovid Medline can be accessed from the library's website or from the research guide for your discipline. The default search for Medline is to locate a subject heading when you enter a keyword. This is why I see map to subject heading. Subject headings are controlled vocabulary used to classify articles based on their content. Medline uses mesh subject headings. To begin my search, I will type depression in the search box. Medline may recommend several mesh terms for a given keyword. Review the suggested mesh terms and se select the appropriate one. In this case, based on my topic, I will select depression. Mesh is organized according to a hierarchy. Why is this hierarchy important? Depending on my research topic, I may want to search for all of the child terms. Therefore, in this case, depression would be a child term under behavioral symptoms. If I was doing a search for all behavioral symptoms, I would want to explode the subject heading. But in this case, the mesh term depression will suffice. Another thing you should note is that before integrating a subject heading into your search, you want to click on the I. The I will provide you with a scope note, which is essentially a definition of that particular mesh term. The scope note will allow you to identify whether or not uh, this mesh term is appropriate for what it is that you are looking for. If I'm happy and I feel that the mesh term depression is appropriate, then I can go back and I can add it into my search. Mesh terms also have subheadings. Subheadings are used to help describe more completely a particular aspect of a subject. Using a subheading will depend on the topic and the type of project you are working on. In this case, as I'm only concerned with the treatment of depression, using some subheadings may help me better focus my search. In consulting the subheadings, I can choose appropriate subheadings that could be of interest, such as diet therapy, drug therapy, and therapy. Once I have selected my subheadings, I can click continue and Medline will run the search for all articles indexed according to depression and the various subheadings. When searching the literature to locate articles, it is advisable to include both headings as well as keywords. So keywords use natural language to describe your topic. For my subject, I'm looking for depression treatments and therapies. Therefore, if I want to enter some keywords, I'm using a few functions here. The star is called truncation. What truncation does is that it allows you to add the root of a term followed by a star, and this will look for all of the variations of that term. So for this, I would retrieve depressive, depression, therapy, therapies, therapeutic. It is also advisable in order uh, to limit the search field for your keywords. So in this case, I'm telling the database to search in either title or abstract. And if my keywords appear in the title or abstract, then that will probably be a relevant um, article. I can then continue adding more synonyms or other appropriate keywords while integrating truncation if appropriate, and also being certain to identify the search field. Once I have the appropriate subject headings and the keywords for my particular uh, concept, I can then group these by using the Boolean operator OR. So using the Boolean operator OR will allow me to retrieve articles that are indexed according to diet therapy depression, drug therapy depression, therapy depression, as well as locate um, articles with the keywords of depression therapy or depression treatments in title and abstract. It's important to remember that part of comprehensive searching involves using both subject headings and keywords. Indexing of articles with subject headings is not an automatic process. 
there can be a delay or an article may not be indexed for whatever reason. Therefore, having both keywords and subject headings ensures that your search will be at comprehensive in scope. You don't want to miss any pertinent articles. I would then repeat the same steps for my other key concept of probiotic. Once I have identified the subject headings and keywords for each of my key concepts, I'm now ready to combine this search using Boolean AND. So the Boolean AND will allow me to locate articles where both my concept of depression therapy appears and also probiotics. And this search will retrieve 99 results. Once I have combined my search, I can then apply limits. There are a number of different limits that can be applied. You can apply some from the search form, and this includes some common limits that are available, or you can also select additional limits. Common limits include language of publication, publication dates, and document type. For my particular example, I will limit to English language and articles published in the last five years. And here I have 82 results. A few other things to remember, Ovid Medline will highlight in yellow where your keywords appear or if specific subject headings uh, are used to retrieve. And you want to verify this to make sure that you're finding the information that you're hoping to find. The final note is that there is no perfect search strategy. Um, therefore, despite how well defined our topic is, we might still find articles that aren't relevant there. Uh, so just take your time to verify to make sure that you've probably you've properly identified these search fields, you've selected appropriate mesh terms, and you're applying the limits that are appropriate for your particular project. If you have any questions, you can contact the Health Sciences Library or your research librarian. Thank you for watching this short video tutorial.